Hi, this is Jackie with the Builder All team. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a Twilio account and configure it for SMS. First, we're going to open it up. We're going to give your name, last name, the email you want to associate with the account, a password, and then you're going to accept the terms and conditions. And we're going to click start your free trial. Once you've verified your email, it's going to bring you back to a screen looking like this. You're going to add your cell phone number. And then you're going to click on verify. You will be receiving an activation code or a verification code to make sure that it is a legit uh, cell phone number. Now that you've done that, you just need to click on submit. And now we are ready to set it up. The first thing it asks is which Twilio product are you going to use? In this case, we are making use of SMS. What do you plan to build with Twilio? It's going to be alerts and notifications. And we're going to choose with no core code at all. So you're going to click on that. What is your goal today? There is a third party integration. And we're going to click on get started with Twilio. And now this is the screen that will come up. We're just going to click and close. And you'll see that you've got an account key and details right here at the bottom, your tokens. So we're going to go to phone numbers. And we are going to click on manage. Then buy a number. Now under the buy a number, you will need to have some credits to be able to make use of it. So I'm just going to give you an example. It's very important to remember that you need to choose one with capabilities that is all of these are ticked. It needs to be voice, SMS, MMS and fax. So for this specific country, you can see we only have uh, the fax, the SMS and voice enabled. If we change this to another country, for an example, you're going to note that these are the top changes and this is what you are looking for. You are looking for a number that has multiple capabilities. So once you've done that, we're going to go to the next step, which means is we are going to buy one of the numbers. So let's just go and choose this one and click on buy. And now it says you will be charged $1 immediately. Afterwards, you will be charged $1 per month in addition to the huge sheets that incur on this specific phone number. So once you've done that, you're just going to click on agree. And then we're going to click on buy. Once you've purchased that number, you will receive a little button that says configure the number. And once you clicked on that, it's going to bring you to an area looking like this. It might not be exactly the same right here. This one will show active numbers, but yours probably will be on buy numbers still because you haven't configured it yet. And as you can see, as you scroll down it, there's a variety of different options. Here is the capabilities that you've just purchased, your local area, the voice and fax. But the important part that we are looking at is going to be the messaging part. So the next step is to make sure that both of us is on webhook and we are going to replace this HTTP post with the right URL that integrates with Builderall, which is that one. And we're just going to copy the same one into that area as well. So now that we've got it, all we need to do is to click on save. And it says the number was successfully updated. Hi guys, this is Jackie with the Build Little team. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to upgrade your Twilio account so that you would be able to make use of the services. So once you have logged into your account, you're going to see a button that says upgrade your account. We're just going to click on that button. We are going to type in the country that you're from. And the address, we're going to scroll down and click on continue. And then it says use the address I provided. 
and then it's going to ask you for your tax information. So in this case, we are just going to say no, I cannot provide a tax number. We're going to click continue. We're going to put in the amount that you would like to purchase. Make sure that your information is correct. If you want to auto enable the recharge, you need to tick that block. But for now, we are just going to click on continue. You're going to put it, if you're going to pay via credit card, you need to put in your credit card details and click confirm. But you also have the option to make use of PayPal. So let's pretend that we want to make use of the credit card and you're going to fill in your details. Once you have filled in the details and you're going to click confirm, it's going to take you, let me just go back again. It will take you to the area where you need to pay for, for, the, for the credits that you are going to purchase. And that is basically how you would upgrade your account. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in another. Bye.